Who would do this? You know, and, and why, why me? Some Orchard Park community members woke up to an offensive sight. Swastikas and racial slurs were spray painted on nearly a dozen cars, three overpasses and a school playground. Police are trying to figure out who is responsible and they're asking for the public's help. News 4's Angela Christoforos joins us with the latest in the investigation. Callan, police say whoever is responsible for all this vandalism did it overnight. They're working on possible leads and looking at surveillance video at nearby businesses and schools. Police say typically kids are responsible for crimes like this, but as of now, they're not ruling anything out. A swastika and whatever that other symbol is that's on the van um, is, is just, it's not acceptable. Kyle Hennessy Snow of Orchard Park was shocked when police knocked on her door Saturday morning to tell her someone spray painted graffiti on her van. She relies on it for her daughter, who is in a wheelchair. It's the only way that I can transport her, and she's severely disabled. And, you know, why she would be targeted, I don't know. Kenneth Wilsey of Orchard Park spent more than five hours trying to scrub graffiti off of both of his cars. On this one here was uh, Boston sucks and then the Swatsky sign symbols on the on both windows. Several swastika symbols and racial slurs were also spray painted on playground equipment at the South Davis Elementary School. Some of the slurs that were um, that were painted may upgrade the charges to some form of a hate crime, but. You know, that's going to be, um, that's, that's further down the road and that'll be with consultation with the district attorney. Police say most of the graffiti is in the village of Orchard Park, but some is also on overpasses in the town. Some of the racial slurs have been cleaned up. Now police are trying to figure out who is responsible. It shows a lack of respect for, uh, for those around you and what they work hard for. And yes, will I prosecute? better believe it. I sure will. It's wrong. Recently, Governor Cuomo opened up a new text line to report incidents of bias. If you're a victim or if you've witnessed a hate crime, you can text HATE to 81336 to report it. Meanwhile, a GoFundMe campaign has been created for the cleanup effort at South Davis Elementary School. Go to the Founded on Four section of our website for a link. Live in the studio, Angela Christoforos, News 4 at 10.